Hey, fourth and fifth graders, remember how I taught you how to create iMovie book trailers? They were so cool. They're like before a movie starts and you watch the trailer for another movie and all of a sudden you can't wait to watch that movie when it comes out in theaters. And we used that to create hype and excitement about reading books. Well, I'm going to challenge you to do that about books that you are reading over this break. So I am going to remind you how to do that with this book. It's a graphic novel. I hope y'all are reading graphic novels and maybe creating some comics. You could make a book trailer about a graphic novel comic that you create. That would be so cool. Please do that and share it with me. Anyway, I'm gonna remind you how to do all of the book trailer creations with iMovie trailers now. Okay, so you're going to open up iMovie and when you click the plus, you are this time going to create a trailer. And you have to choose a theme, remember, that matches the book that you're going to be introducing to the audience. So, you can listen to the different themes, see if they would be a good fit. You can tweak this to make it say, your name is the film company. And of course you'll change the words and you'll change these video images to pictures from your book. So let's just pretend that this fairy tale theme is the perfect theme. You might actually prefer family or indie or narrative, but let's just pretend that fairy tale is perfect for this graphic novel. So I will come up to the top and where it says create in blue, I will tap on that. Now this I usually tell you to save until the end because we don't have more than 40 minutes in labs and I want you to get it done. But if you're at home and you've got more time, go ahead and fill these in. I would of course, for written by, I would put the um, author of the book that you're introducing. And um, then you can put your name as the director and stuff like that. So once you get this completed, I'm gonna take out the princess tails and I'm going to put the babysitter's club. Okay, and then I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to click storyboard because this takes us to the section where we get to change the look and the feel of the trailer. So it starts out with once upon a time. So if that fits for your story, you can leave that, but more than likely you're gonna to wanna to change that to where it matches your book. But let's read what these words say. Once upon a time, and then there will be a picture. There was a beautiful girl, and then a couple of pictures who dreamed of becoming a princess, and then a couple of pictures on her birthday. Okay, so my story is actually about this girl who is a babysitter, and she's going to be in a wedding, and she has a lot of people coming to town, and she's worried that the wedding babysitting will not go over well because there's so many kids that they'll be in charge of. Can it work out? So, some of these things might actually work, but I would um, tap on the blue to change the words to make it fit your story. So, once upon a time, I'm gonna change that to um, once a huge babysitting gig. You know what, guys? That's gonna be too many words. It's only gonna be on the screen for a minute. Once a girl That'll be on there. Only three words. They can definitely read that. Once a girl. Now, it's on the filming red dot. See how this is the filming camera? We want to turn it to the still camera and just take a picture. And this girl on the cover is the main girl, so that'll be perfect. I'll take a picture of her on the cover, and it plugs in that spot. Once a girl, and then where it says there was a beautiful girl, I'm going to say um, something like, decides to babysit. And then, where there are two pictures here, it says close up and two shot. I'm gonna ignore that, that doesn't matter. I just have to make these pictures match my words. 
So I need to find a picture of her deciding to babysit. So I'm going to say that these are good pictures of that. So I'll tap on the gray image and then I will take a picture of the girl deciding to babysit. And my goodness, that's a lot of children, but she feels like she can do it. Okay, so here we've got our trailer so far. I'm gonna tap at the top and I'm going to click play so that we can watch what we've got so far. Okay, and that's where we stopped. So, it's very important that you fill in every picture with an image or else you'll get these gray images that say medium or two shot or action or something like that. So, I'm gonna come back up to the top and click done and take you back out so you see what I'm talking about. Every spot where there's a grayed out image, you have to take a picture from the book and fill it in. Everywhere where there are blue words, you have to change them and make them match your trailer so that you introduce the audience to the book and you get them excited about reading it as well. If you take a picture and it doesn't work, maybe uh, it was blurry or maybe your finger was in the shot. Let's give an example of that. Let's say I go to take a picture and it's too blurry. So when I click on this, I don't like how blurry that is. Well, I can touch the trash can, which is in the very bottom left corner. I can ditch that picture, okay? And then try again. So I can take a picture. I can just tap on the picture and try to replace it with a better image. Oh, I have to touch camera and try again. All right, this time that picture is not blurry. It looks good. I might want to adjust the Ken Burns effect, which I can do by tapping right here. Okay. I can, uh, on the start, I might want to start zoomed in on the girl's face and then zoom out onto her brother and her mother as well. So then when you play that part, it's focused on just that section. So you can create a really cool book trailer. When you're done, you know you click done at the top. You will rename it to match the title of your book. You will click this box. You will save the video. I always do as the smallest file so that it doesn't take up too much room. It will export and go into your photo album on your device, and then once that happens, you can upload it and share it with all of us on our Google Classroom. That's a big thumbs up for you.